Race is real, it is not a social construct and we are all racist. Race is a reality that we cannot ignore or wish away with pithy catchphrases like, it's a social construct. Race in its current form is defined and used as a governing tool of our elected officials, many of whom represent the ruling class. Passive voice is a method of communicating action without addressing the actor. Mistakes were made, the table was broken, a crime was committed, are just a few examples of passive voice. When the actor is not named it is the victim or those acted upon that gain the attention and the actor continues to act unnoticed. The social construct of race leaves out the actor. Our modern notions of race comes directly from our United States government. Thomas Jefferson, in his notes on Virginia first baited race. With questions about how much the Indians differed from his white race. The United States government has clearly defined race as it has deemed it important to do so. Racism is the economy where race is the currency. Much like our monetary system where each denomination has a set value, as determined by the government and its Federal Reserve, such as the value of race in a society. In a system where race is the currency if you declare to have a race, denote your race on forms, or even embrace the notion of having a race you are a user. As a user of the system you gain benefits or access and thus are racist. More on this later. We, in the USA, are all racist. Why bring this up? We have to look at how and why race is used by the government to keep us at odds, confused and fighting for scraps. New tools for using race. Reverse discrimination is a tool to keep the proletariat fighting among each other. Hashtag MeToo has been weaponized to undermine the very injustices it was to bring to light. It seems that non-profits and governments are hiring activists, seeking to capitalize on their activism. It has been said that, if you want to kill a movement, give the revolutionary a job. The stoking of xenophobia and the false belief of advantages that minorities are receiving has white people being fleeced by other white people just to get into college. Racism hurts white people too. It is necessary for us to understand as we enter this election cycle that we in many cases are looking at one side of a single coin. Reparations won't fix the problem. We cannot trust that politicians will have the ability to work across the aisle to get things done. We the people have to call it as we see it and help each other where we can. So what do we do? Mentor someone outside of your sphere of influence. Entertain and research opposing views to your own. Do not look to government for what you can do for yourself. Remember that all human behavior has a purpose and either you define it or others will race to define it for you.